hello students welcome to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet now we are going to solve this problem which says that determine the resultant of these three forces so we are given these three forces and we are required to find the resultant on this bracket so we will consider um, these forces one by one so first of all we are going to consider this 80 newton force this 80 newton force is making 40 degree with the x-axis so this 80 newton force will have the x component in this direction and this will be the cos component so the x component will be 80 cos of 40 since this component is adjacent to the angle so the x component of we can write that 80 newton so its x component is 80 cos of 40 and similarly its y component is going to act like this so this component is not adjacent to this angle so this one will be the sine component so we can say that the y component will be 80 sine of 40. similarly uh, we will consider this 120 newton force and this 120 newton force is making 30 degree with this 80 newton force so with the x-axis it's going to make 70 degrees 30 plus 40 is 70 degrees and this 120 newton force will have x component in this direction and it will have y component in this direction so both the components are in the positive x and positive y direction so this component is adjacent to that 70 degree angle so it will be the cos component so the x component is the the cos component so we will write that in 120 newton force and its x component is 120 cos of 70 degrees and similarly its y component will be the sine component in the positive y direction so this will be 120 sine of 70 so 120 sine of 70 degrees and remember that both the x and y components are acting in the uh, positive x and y direction and similarly in case of 80 newton force as well now we are going to consider this uh, 150 newton force and it is making 35 degrees with the negative x axis so it will have x component like this and since it is adjacent to this angle so it will this uh, the x component is the cos component and it is acting in the negative x direction so we will write that the third force is 150 newton and its x component is acting in the negative x so we will write minus that will be 150 cos of 35 degrees and its y component is going to act in the positive y direction as well so we will write plus and that will be the sine component so 150 sine of 35 degrees so now the our x component of the resultant will be equal to the summation of all the x components so the summation of all the forces along the x axis so we will add up all of these so that will give us the our x component of the resultant so we can write that 80 cos of 40 plus 120 cos of 70 minus 150 cos of 35 so this gives me the x component of the resultant equals to minus 20.55 newton and similarly if we add up the y components that will give us the our y component of the resultant so 80 uh, sine of 40 plus 120 sine of 70 plus 150 sine of 35 so this is equal to our y is equal to 250 newtons approximately so now if we represent this our uh, uh, this resultant on the x y coordinate system so this is my x and y axis is, let's say let's say this is our positive x this is our negative x this is our positive y so the the x component of the resultant is acting in the negative x direction and which is minus 20.55 so this will be the our x component of the resultant this is the our x component of the resultant this is magnitude is 20.55 and it is acting in the negative x so the, the so then the, so the direction 
and the negative sign uh, tell the negative sign tells us that the x component is in the uh, negative x direction and its magnitude is 20.55 newton and similarly the y component is in the positive y direction so this is like this this is our uh, y is 250 newton and if we add them uh, our x and our y by head to tail rule let's say if i draw our x here again so this our y plus our x the sum of both of these will give us the resultant so the resultant must be acting like this so the resultant force is like this so now we can say that um, this is our resultant and now we want to find the angle of the resultant with the horizontal let's say this is let's say angle theta so again if i draw that ry here let's say this is that ry again so uh, from tan theta if we apply tan theta to that right angle triangle let's say if we are considering um, this right angle triangle so tan theta will be perpendicular divided by base so that will be equal to our y magnitude divided by our x magnitude so we can write that theta is equal to tan inverse and our y is 250 newtons and our x is 20.55 newtons so shift tan inverse and that is 250 divided by 20.55 so this gives us theta equals to 85.3 degrees so the resultant is making um, 85.33 degrees with the horizontal in the clockwise direction and similarly we can represent that clockwise direction like this we have to show it like this so this is the angle and to find to find the magnitude of the resultant we need to apply the pythagoras theorem so the resultant magnitude will be equal to our x square plus our y square and then we will take the square root so resultant magnitude is equal to our x magnitude is uh, 20.55 if we consider the negative value so uh, taking square of the negative value is always positive so the sign doesn't matter while applying the pythagoras theorem so our x square plus our y that is 250 square under the square root will give us the resultant magnitude so 20.55 square plus 250 square this gives me the resultant magnitude equals to 250.8 newton so the resultant magnitude is 250.8 newton and it is making 85.3 degree angle with the horizontal in the clockwise direction and if you want to represent the resultant as a cartesian vector so r vector will be equal to this uh, minus 20.55 in the i direction or we can say that uh, 20.55 in the negative i direction plus 250 in the positive j direction so this is the cartesian vector representation of the resultant this is the magnitude of the resultant and this is the angle which the resultant makes with the horizontal and this angle is measured in the clockwise direction so this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy if you haven't done it yet.